Okay. Now, suppose the stack sizes, effective stack sizes, were different. Suppose uh, this is um, we're going to say 200 blinds. Okay. If its effective stacks are 200 blinds, uh, the four better would have a little bit more leeway. Uh, if he wanted to, he could go to four times this, three times this, four times this, because then he can go all the way up to three hundred. Uh, dollars without committing himself, and he may choose to make a bigger bet. He may he may choose to four bet to two hundred and forty because now we're playing a deep stack game, okay? And it's not as transparent. Now, effective stacks refers to the smaller of the two stacks. If you have two hundred blinds and your opponent only has a hundred blinds, then effective stacks are a hundred blinds. Uh, this refers to the smaller of the two stacks, the amount that you're essentially playing for, okay? Now, I hope everybody's getting this. Now, this little utility that I've been using here, uh, this is called Poker Stove. Most people that have played online or have gotten a little bit further in poker are already, are already familiar with this. Uh, this is a very useful tool for finding ranges, finding equities, and it is a free download. So if any of you don't have that, I advise you to go to PokerStove.com and download it, and it's free. And it's... Even though there are more sophisticated programs out there, this is a very simple one, and it has become a standard. It's quoted books and literature. Uh, it's something you should have, and if you want to do any of the math that I'm doing, uh, you'll need something like this to do it with. Okay. Anyway, back here. Okay. So, with a 200 big blind stack, the four better would have the option of making it four times if he wanted, three times if he wanted, he wouldn't be under the same constraints. Now, a, uh, another concept that we're going to come up with that again refer is basically refers to 100 big blind stacks is the concept that the opener, once facing a three bet by someone that has position on him, should never flat call out of position. Okay, never flat call out of position. He should either be uh, folding or coming over the top with the four bet. Okay, when he does flat, he's going to have to flat a much wider range than if he four bets because he's letting his opponent free roll the flop. So, uh, given the amount of equity that his opponent will have when he was free rolling, he would have to call with a greater number of hands to keep him from making an automatic profit. Now, this, again, is a 100 big blind concept, okay? Uh, suppose, for instance, this person opened and his hand was a pair of jacks. This will sort of illustrate the reason why opening with jacks in a full ring game when you're playing for 100 blinds is not really a very good idea to do because once you're faced with this 3-bet here, you're in a very bad spot, okay? You have a hand that doesn't really play very well uh, as far as for betting your opponent. Okay, uh, against the value portion of his range, pocket jack is in, is in very very poor shape, and I'll illustrate that again. I'll illustrate that right here. Here we see our bluffs had 29% equity. If we look at jack jack, okay, it's got 36% equity against the value portion of, his, of your opponent's range. Um, it, it's not a very good 4-bet hand, and it's a hand that you really don't feel like folding, but if you're playing for 100 big blinds and you get 3-bet, hands like jacks, 10s, and 9s are best off folding. Okay, You do not have, you do not have the, the correct pot odds to draw a set. Now, um, you will see some people uh, flatting out of position with these hands, but uh, they do not realize how bad it is. Um, plenty of you have probably heard of a guy, uh, Dusty Schmidt, Leather Ass. Uh, if, you've, if you've read any portion of his books, he discusses these particular hands, uh, pocket jacks, pocket tens, and when he is facing a three bet with him. And he's one of the most successful online players there's ever been, and he has a database of I don't know how many hands, but uh, uh, he's he's shown repeatedly that he that once faced with the three bet, there is no profitable thing for the pocket jacks or pocket tens to do. They're not profitable as a four bet, 
and they're not profitable as a flat call. Okay, so when you open with pocket tens or pocket jacks and you face the three bet, generally, if you're playing for 100 big blind stacks, it's going to be a fold. Now, suppose you're playing for 200 big blind stacks. Okay, now it gets a little bit closer. And here's the reason it gets closer. Uh, if any of you have read the uh, Harrington books, Harrington's on cash games, uh, he talks about the minimum amount the stacks have to be in order to call or with a pocket pair. Okay, and what he gives, his principle is that both you and your opponent have to have 25 times the amount that you have to call behind. Okay, so for instance, you open for 20 and the opponent raises it to 60, it's $40 for you to call. Okay, 40 times 25 is in fact 200. Okay, so if you're playing for uh, a little bit over this, say 220 big blinds, something like that, those are effective stacks. Now you can actually open with pocket tens and pocket jacks, and it's okay because if you faced with a three bet, you will still have the pot odds to call to flat call out of position. So as stacks become deeper, now online it's very rare you don't see these games, but if you play in live games, uh, live two five games, live five ten games. Uh, it's not unusual to see lots of people sitting around the table with three or four hundred blinds. Okay, it's more of a deep stack game, whereas online games are more of a medium stack game. Okay, in fact, w when you're talking to an online crowd, they consider 200 big blinds to be deep. You know, that's deep. Uh, that's not deep if you're a live player. If you're playing in two five games, uh, there's nothing unusual about seeing a thousand dollar stack on the table, or fifteen hundred, or two thousand. Okay. Once they're, you know, you're in a middleish position, you have pockets, pocket tens, you have a big stack, you have fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand, and the people who who are left to act after you, most of them have uh, pretty big stacks. Then it's safe to go ahead and open with pocket jacks, pocket tens, because if you're faced with a three bet, you can flat call that out of position. When you're playing with one hundred big blind stacks, your general rule should be four bet or fold. Don't be flatting out of position. Okay. Um, that was, I've sort of gone off on a tangent there, uh, talking about a specific hand. That's not what I intended to do, but I just did it to illustrate the point. Okay. We're going back to our 100 big blind stacks and, and our bet sizing theory right now. Okay. When you're talking about 100 big blind stacks, you're talking about an area of maneuvering between 0% effective stacks and 30%. All of the opening, the three betting, the four betting, all of the posturing is done between 0 and 30% of effective stacks. Once one of the players approaches that limit, the game is over. Okay, there is no more posturing. Okay, the opener four bets to $150. Now it's back to the three better. What does he do? What he needs to do right now is either fold or shove all in. Okay, those should be your two options as soon as your opponent makes a bet size that hits this 30% threshold. Okay, because if you call that, you're practically committing yourself post-flop and there might be lots of flops that you don't, you don't like. It is not a good idea. Um, what, what you should look at is this. When, you're, when your opponent makes his 4-bet or his 3-bet, look at the size of his bet relative to effective stacks. The biggest bet that he can make that you can consider flat in position okay, is less than 30% effective stacks. Okay, um, suppose, Let's suppose that uh, this guy had only raised to 45 and the opener, the original opener four bets to 100. Okay. Effective stacks 100 big blinds. What this is, I'll change it from blinds to dollars since we're talking about a 2-5 game. Okay. 